Hello folks and uh, welcome back again to the Tesla project. Uh, we're back out in the workshop today finally. Uh, we had a few things going on the last couple of days that have kept me away. Uh, but we're back today and uh, we've got some pretty exciting stuff to show you. Um, I'll be cutting into the clips now of the actual uh, work that we've done to today. But the short version is that we now have uh, pretty much complete control of the Tesla Gen 2 10 kilowatt charger uh, with a simple Arduino Dewey sketch. Now, my programming skills are Neanderthal to say the least. So the sketch that I'm running this with is just very, very crude, but I just threw it together uh, just to prove the point. So by the time you guys see this vi this video, uh, that's got that sketch and a log file will be on my GitHub uh, of some of what we've been doing today. So let's go ahead and, and have a look and we'll come right back. Alrighty folks, big moment is here. We are controlling the charger from a simple crappy Arduino sketch. So right now, we are putting in uh, 1.9 amps, uh, 362 volts on our battery. We're taking 4.1 amps um, at about 230 volts from the mains. Uh, we're at 850 watts uh, of power coming in on the AC side. Uh, we're rigged up with the high voltage junction box as we've said We're controlling phase one of the charger from this Arduino here with my Neanderthal software uh, Putting about a hundred frames a second totally between the charger messages and the three messages from the Arduino uh, We're charging this crappy battery um, and yeah so there it is um we're at 365 volts there it'll be interesting to see there's some investigation i'm doing around whether the charger there's a couple of bytes in there that i think lets the charger um have a voltage set point but we've a lot of softwarey type things to do here uh, obviously, I have no cooling, uh, no liquid cooling going through the, ch the charger at the minute. Um, but, yeah, we can rectify that so we can run it at higher powers. Uh, for now, I'm pretty sure it'll be happy passively cooling just for uh, the purposes of this low power run. Um, I rigged up the high voltage junction box so I could use heavier grade cables both to supply the mains um, and the uh, DC side just because my weedy cables were kind of well weedy um, let's see what else we can see about it cavers oh that's a nice power factor Elon 0.993 well what can you say about that um, so yeah we're charging away here um, at the minute my program is really is really crap and it just basically runs it just steps through uh, the, the various elements and just uh, goes into a forever loop and once it gets to the final stage so to shut the thing off I just disconnect the USB um, so I just go ahead and do that now but so Pull the USB and uh, as soon as the CAN messages stop, uh, the charger pretty much shuts down. Okay, so I decided to reduce the pack to 100 and, about 155 volts. I just tapped the pack. With the same settings, we're now charging at 4 amps. So this charger 
is capable of power control because if we look here now menu kilowatts come on where is it amps kilowatts we're at the same power about about 830 watts in but of course because we've half the voltage we can double the current <laughs> Okay, power mode. So multiply the current set point by the voltage that you read and you get yourself uh, a power limit which the charger can then apply. This is a multi-voltage charger folks. Hmm. Alright, so right now we have a battery voltage of 222 volts. And with the same settings again, I'm putting in uh, 3.1 amps. And on my power, I'm again at about 850 watts on the AC side. This is of particular interest for me because I'm planning on running 10 Tesla modules in the Panzer, which will be normally around 225 volts. So it seems as if we can indeed charge... Uh, we can charge down to about 150 volts, it seems. I did try it at 75 volts, and uh, the charger tried to start up, uh, but then faulted out again. Uh, so, yeah, we're holding 3 amps into that uh, system there now. I don't want to let it run for too long, because it'll totally unbalance the hell out of this battery here, as if it isn't bad enough. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's... Where we're at at the minute um as i say with my completely crappy program woohoo all righty folks i uh, hope you enjoyed that um it's been yeah it's been a bit of a a, a, a journey but we got there um so now the next part of the plan really is to Go ahead and pretty much design ourselves a Arduino Dewey SAM 3X processor based replacement logic board uh, for the Gen 2 charger. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do on the CAN messages and uh, you know working out how to smoothly shut down and restart the charger and all that kind of fun packed stuff. Uh, but I'm going to get a Gen 1 board or a V1 board uh, ready to go fairly soon so that we can do things like run the other two phases in the charger and get it up to the 10 kilowatts power and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to leave you guys there. Uh, link in the description to my GitHub uh, where you will see uh, my laughable arduino sketch um log file from one of the runs at 360 volts today uh as much info as i have i think on the can messages at the minute and yeah so pretty soon we'll have des design files and stuff like that going on up there um also links in the description to my pa my patreon and uh paypal donation links so if you would uh, like to give me a bit of financial support with all this madness, then please visit those links. Um, other than that, we will, um, we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And um, happy Tesla Charger Arduino controlling.